I'd like to call to order the Baldwin County Board of Education meeting on this Thursday, January 19th. Um, Mr. Warner, would you lead us in prayer? Of course. Lord, we thank you for your presence here with us today. And God, we, uh, we also thank you for placing us in this county. I pray right now that you'll bless each and every student, teacher, administrator, uh, every person that's involved in, in this system, God. I pray that you give us wisdom this evening, and I pray that everything that's done here will bring glory to you. Amen. 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 Stand for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, I don't guess we have any letters of recommendation or anything. Okay. Um, all right. Um, we, the minutes are going to be approved next time because we didn't have a chance to look at them, so we'll be approving those at the next meeting. Um, we do have a visitor here that would like to speak. Miss Cantley, come on up. May I say a word while she's coming up? This is Sydney Cantley, Miss Gulf Coast 2023. She's an outstanding senior at Farrell High School. We're very proud of her her mission, and that's her grandmother over there. That's She's Betty the Jo. Uh-huh, right? <laughs> She's the best, yes. Hey, okay, best grandmother, Betty Jo. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, no, good what, evening. Just, just oh, before, sorry. there's only three minutes, and so just, you know, try to keep it to that. Okay. Yes, and my ma'am. introduction did not count in her three minutes. <laughs> okay. And since you don't have to introduce yourself, he already did it, that doesn't take away from your time. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, well, good evening, everyone. Like Mr. Cecil was saying, my name is Sydney Cantley. I'm a senior at Fair Hope High School, and I'm Miss Gulf Coast 2023. Um, my title is a part of the Miss America organization, which is the largest scholarship provider for young women today. Um, in October of 2021, I competed as Miss Mobile Bay's Outstanding Teen at Miss Alabama's Outstanding Teen, and I placed in the top six for my social impact initiative, and I won the non-finalist interview award, and I will be competing at Miss Alabama in June. So that's just a little bit about me. Now, I want everyone to look to their left or to their right, doesn't matter who, and I want you to ask them, have you had your yearly wellness checkup this year? I have. I'm hearing a lot of yeses. This is good. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Raise your hand if you answered yes. Okay, I like this. Well, if you did not raise your hand, you might want to listen to a little story I have to share with you today. When I was a freshman in high school, I went to my yearly wellness checkup, and my pediatrician felt a lump on the left side of my neck. After an ultrasound and a biopsy, at age 14, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and Hashimoto's disease. I had my first surgery in 2019 to remove the left half of my thyroid, and later I had another one in 2021 to remove the right half. And I'm so thankful for that yearly wellness checkup, and I am blessed to be cancer-free today. So when I started competing in the Miss America organization, my story inspired me to start my social impact initiative called Adolescent Wellness Checkups, where I promote the importance of parents taking their children for their yearly wellness checkup. It is so important for all children to see their doctor, even when they are not sick, and your physical and mental health should always come first, and wellness checkups improve a child's overall quality of life. As Miss Gulf Coast, I want to spread the message that a wellness checkup can indeed save a life. Now, this is where I need your help. I would love to make sure that the importance of wellness checkups are spread throughout our schools and our students are being educated about preventative care for their mental and physical health. One idea that I have is to encourage parents to take their children for their yearly wellness checkup before the school year begins each August by sending countywide emails to parents and posting on BCBE social media. This way, students aren't missing school and they can be ready and prepared for the upcoming school year. I would love to brainstorm with you on some more ideas to spread awareness. Even though I am a senior who is about to graduate, I want to pursue this not only with Baldwin County Public Schools, but with counties throughout the whole entire state. That is my long-term goal. Um, I've shared my social impact initiative by many ways, um, speaking at commissioners' meetings, um, visiting pediatric departments in hospitals, and spending time with the patients. Um, and I've been asked to be an advocate for, with the Alabama chapter American Academy of Pediatrics to help promote wellness checkups. 
I am very passionate about this topic, and I am so thankful that I got to share my, share my story with all of you today. I hope that you will help me by spreading the importance of wellness checkup to our students, parents, and all throughout our schools. And for those of you who did not raise your hands in the beginning, go make your appointment for your yearly wellness checkup. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Tell the board, uh, uh, Sydney uh, reached out to Cecil, and, and from that I reached out to Sydney and got Ashley Barnhill, yes. our coordinator for nurses, in touch with you. I think you're going to be speaking to our nurses yes, sir. Uh, soon about wellness checks, and you'll be basically singing to the choir. Yes. And, you know, they, they do a great job across our county, and uh, I know at Farrell High School y'all have several nurses. And, yes. Uh, but we will, I know our nurses will continue to, to spread that message. Uh, Ashley Barnhill will get with you, uh, work with her. Uh, we'll do what we can. We'll put it on our uh, uh, social media uh, with Baldwin County, your message, and uh, we'll make sure that, uh, that we're partnering with you. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. This is something that I'm very passionate about, so I'm honored to have this opportunity, and thank you so much for wanting to work with me on this. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much. You all are welcome to stay for the next two hours if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss the fun. That's that long. <laughs> Mr. Tyler, any amendments to the agenda? Yes, ma'am. Amend number eight, leave of absence of personnel. Number nine, retirement and resignations of personnel. Number 10, transfer intent to transfer of personnel. Number 11, employment of personnel. Number 12, extra work for extended periods. Add number 13, proposed 2023-2024 school calendar options. I move we amend the agenda. Second. Second. Okay. okay. <laughs> Have a motion by Mr. Christenberry and a second by Mr. Warner. Tyler. Any discussion? Like oh, mm -hmm. no, not for a okay. moment. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll, by the members, I'm sorry. Uh, agenda item one. We, uh, uh, we got a vote on, though. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, all approved of the minutes. So, uh, I, amen. I, okay. <laughs> no, okay. Up, I've been sitting up here a while. I kind of <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll start over. Okay. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Got it. Agenda okay. item one, budget amendment number one, FY 2023. Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to authorize the board president and superintendent to approve and submit the appropriate 2022-2023 budget amendment to the State Department of Education to meet the requirements of the Code of Alabama as stipulated in the agenda exhibit. So moved. Second. A motion by Mr. Johnson and a second by Ms. Bradley. All, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes. Agenda item two, bids proposals. Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the low bidders meeting specifications for goods and services for the system as stipulated in the agenda exhibit. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Warner, second by Mr. Christenberry. Any discussion? A couple of questions. Okay. It's a requirement in the specs, and that's really like a cost implication. I think they're, um, what they were looking to provide, they were estimating the cost around $100,000 more, and it was a pla it's a plastic-based um, carton as opposed to a paper. Is that is the paper a requirement of the federal or state requirement? I don't know if that's necessarily a, a federal or state. It's just been a kind of consistent requirement to make sure we get the best the best price for the for the for the milk it's not really reflected in the tabulation sheet but um that was one of the the key things as far as having the that paper versus plastic from a from a cost perspective that's that's pretty typical for c and p contracts any more questions Yes, ma'am. Okay. We can always revisit this before five years because we, we did get a commitment from the bidder that they were looking at getting the machinery in place to offer paper cartons, which would reduce it. So I don't, I don't have a problem bringing it up in a year from now and continuing to do that. So. 
I'm not sure all the all the details around around that. Um, I, I definitely think it is. I mean, it's more recyclable than um, I, I, I would assume there. Um, you won't have kids throwing those caps at each other either. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Well, I can tell a story about the paper container when I was a kid. We, made, we took them, poked a hole in them, put a straw in them, made tanks out of them. <laughs> 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 That's me. I, I can tell I don't believe I told that. <laughs> <laughs> Any more discussion? All right, all in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item three, owner engineer proposals. Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the O and E agreement with Sawgrass Consulting LLC for various projects as stipulated in the agenda exhibit. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Myrick, second by Mr. Johnson. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item four, federal ESSER two application amendment. Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the amended federal ESSER two application and budget appropriations as stipulated in the agenda exhibit. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Warner, second by Mr. Myrick. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item five, property purchase agreement. Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion that the board accept the purchase agreement between John Christopher and Sharon Ann Boney in Bowen County Public Schools for $3,180,000 and allow the superintendent to execute all necessary documents for closing the purchase as stipulated in the agenda exhibit. So move. Second. Motion by Mr. Christenberry, second by Mr. Johnson. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? No. Motion carries. Agenda item six, approval of partnership and membership with Saw DC Southwest Alabama Workforce Development Council. The superintendent recommends adoption of motion to approve the partnership with Saw DC for the 2022-2023 school year to be paid from system funds as stipulated in the agenda exhibit. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Myrick, second by Mr. Johnson. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item seven, AP pre-calculus course fee. Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the requirement of a $20 course fee for AP pre-calculus to be effective with the 2023-2024 school year stipulated in the agenda exhibit. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Warner, second by Mr. Myrick. Any discussion? All of our AP courses have a $20 fee with them for the extra testing booklets and the Saturday um, testing um, sites that we have for our students. This is, we're not, this is a new course that we're offering next year, so it's consistent with all of our other AP courses. I don't know off the top of my head, but it, it's a, a large number. We have a high group of students that take high number of students that take AP courses but I can find that out for you absolutely we do right and, and we do have a process in place to waive fees for students that can't afford those fees is that advertised by Yes, teachers. counselors okay. and principals, yes. And they know that they can privately go in to discuss that. Okay. Any more discussion? All, right. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item eight, leave of absence of personnel. The superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the leave of absence of personnel as amended and provided to board members under separate cover. Tell who? Second. Motion by Mr. Christenberry, second by Mr. Myrick. Any discussion? All, um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item nine, retirement and resignations of personnel. 
Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the retirement and resignations of personnel as amended and provided to board members under separate cover. Second. Motion by Mr. Johnson, second by Ms. Bradley. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item 10, transfer intent to transfer of personnel. Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the transfer intent to transfer of personnel as amended and provided to board members under separate cover. So motion by Mr. Myrick, a second by Ms. Kirby. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item 11, employment of personnel. The superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the employment of personnel as amended and provided to board members under separate cover. So moved. Motion by Mr. Warner, second by Mr. Johnson. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion carries. Agenda item 12, extra work for extended periods. Superintendent recommends adoption of a motion to approve the extra work of personnel as amended and provided to board members under separate cover. So moved. Motion by Mr. Myrick, second by Mr. Johnson. Any discussion? All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item 13, proposed 2023-2024 school calendar options. Superintendent recommends adoption of motion to approve the dissemination of the three proposed calendar options to local schools and organizations for input as stipulated in the agenda exhibit. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Christenberry, second by Ms. Bradley. Question, Discussion. help us understand this process. There's like five, there's a committee, correct? How yes. Does, how does that work? Yeah, there's a committee. Uh, Robbie Owen usually gets the committees together. They have teachers, they have principals on there. They have six to choose from. They narrow it down to these three. The biggest difference on all these are Mardi Gras and fall break for the teachers. That's where you'll see in the scriptures that all the, every one of the calendars start at the same date. The ending date, depending on what they do, fall break and Mardi Gras is different, but they all start at the same time. Every holiday is the same. Christmas, Thanksgiving, those are the two differences on the calendar. What I, what I ask for, board, is they protect <coughs> Veterans Day, Memorial Day, yeah. uh, and make sure our graduations are in line. Right. It's voted on by the employees, and I know sometimes employees think, well, they just pick it up there at the central office, but Louise tabulates these things right. as they come in. I really don't care yeah. how they want to do the calendar, as long as they serve the days. And, you know, if they want more vacation, then either they start early and end late or vice versa. So. So only so much you can do with it either. Only yeah. so much yeah. you can do anyway. Yeah. yeah. You just decide if you want to come back after a Memorial Day or Well, you're never going to make everybody happy. So it's, we're just trying to hit the. <laughs> oh, no, man, yeah. You can do that. Can you, how you do that? The committee gets it down to three, and then who votes on those three? The, the, the teachers. Oh, the employees. Yeah. Yeah. employees. Not the teachers, the employees. Yes. All the employees. <laughs> yeah. 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 Board, um, one other change on this calendar, if you compare it to last year, is the flex days that were included in the summer have been built into the calendar, and that was to resolve a couple of concerns that employees have had, and one is, um, you know, the difficulty that we've had since COVID in finding subs and having to pull teachers out of the classroom for training, so this allows for us to have those days built in. I know Renee can speak to that a little bit more and it also helps us not having to have so many subs so frequently when we do have to pull like teachers out for training so that'll be like a day each nine week mm -hmm. it just it I think two out of the three end before Memorial Day, if I'm not mistaken, and one ends after. I've looked at it, like I say, I don't vote. I have my favorite of these three I've looked at, but I'll keep it close to the vest. <laughs> <laughs> all right, any more discussion? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? But motion carries. That's all I have. Let's go on. Aye. I mean, I love it. I love it. We're we're on a roll tonight, Ms. Ms. Lindsay. <laughs> All right. I want to thank Nicole for always being here with her smiling yes. face, and uh, Ed Tech for supporting us, and 
Yeah. No, board, thank you. Yeah. So can I have a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. A second? All right. Motion <laughs> to adjourn. I go home and do